In this video, I'll show you how to create this 3D layer split effect. I originally created this animation for the trailer for my class, Animated Typography in Adobe After Effects, layering simple effects for a complex look. The class shows how to animate text drawing in like this, and I wanted to explain that this look is achieved by animating multiple layers. So I created this 3D split effect to show the different layers. You don't need to have watched that class for this video to make sense, but if you want to learn how I animated this, that class will show you how. The link is in the description. Starting with this animation, I'll show you how to get the 3D layer split look. The first step is to make all the layers 3D. So to do that, just click this little icon on all the layers. And then these layers that are actually compositions, we need to go into and make all of those layers 3D too for this effect to work. The next step is to go to layer, new, camera. And a 35 millimeter camera is fine, so I'll just leave the settings as is. Instead of animating the camera itself, I find it's easier to create a camera controller. So to do that, I'm going to go to Layer, New, Null Object, and then let's rename this. And then I'm going to make it 3D and parent the camera to the null. Now if I zoom out of this composition, you can see that I made my letter really small. And I want this 3D layer split effect to be seen a little bit bigger. So what I can do is go to the camera controller and hit S for scale, and then just scale this down. And that will actually bring the letter closer so it looks bigger. As this letter animates in, maybe when it's about here, I want to rotate it into that 3D space and then split the layers apart. So I'm going to go into the camera controller and hit R on the keyboard to bring up the rotation properties. And I'll set a keyframe on the X, Y, and Z rotations. And then let's go to like one second. And now I want to rotate this into that isometric view. So it's going to be 35 degrees in the X, then 45, and then 30 will give us that angle. And now I just need to split all of these layers into 3D space by animating their Z position so that they separate. So the accent lines, these pink lines that go across the letter, I want them all to go in one layer. So what I can do to make this easier is just to take the accent across and accent two and parent it to the first accent and then I'll just animate this one. So from here down to here, I want to animate the position of all these. This last layer can just stay in place at the bottom. So I'll hit P on the keyboard to bring up the position property. And then at 20 frames, let's just set a first keyframe. And then as it rotates, let's animate these in Z space. So for the first one, I'll do negative 10 to bring that up. And then for the second one, negative 20. And then let's separate out the accents a little bit more. So negative 40, negative 60, negative 80, and negative 100. All right, so now that my letter rotates into 3D space and splits into its own layers, let's animate it back the way it came. So starting about here, I'm gonna go through and click this keyframe button to create a keyframe for the existing frame on everything. And then I'll move over to two seconds and I wanna copy these first keyframes. Now I'm working in the beta version of After Effects and there's a new feature where you can copy and paste keyframes across all layers without duplicating the layers. So if you're working with an older version of After Effects, that feature might not work for you and you might have to individually go through and go copy and paste. Otherwise it'll paste the layer itself, not just the keyframe. But if you're working in a newer version of After Effects, depending on when you watch this video, you can just copy and paste like that. If I play this animation back right now, it's going to be a little too fast because I needed to work with the existing animation that I already had on the layers. So I'm going to need to slow this down, but I'll do that in a second after I adjust the motion of these keyframes. So I'm just going to click and drag to select everything, and then I'm going to hit F9 to easy ease these keyframes. And then let's go into the graph editor. So if I click and drag over all of this, It'll give me a handle that I can adjust the entire speed graph of all of these position properties and rotation properties all at the same time, which is more efficient than doing them individually. 
So I'll just drag this so that the graph is kind of slower at the beginning and then speeds up and then slows down. But the fastest speed will be kind of like two thirds of the way through. And then for the animation out, let's do just the opposite of that. So something like this. I also want to stagger how they split. So I'm just going to take these keyframes and move them one frame over and then take these keyframes, move them one, and then move these ones one frame over so that everything is staggered. And I also noticed that these compositions ended, so those bottom layers just disappeared, so I need to select them and drag out the composition. And then once it moves back into place, you can kind of see this layer behind the white A visible. So I'm just going to cut the layers right as they get back into place. So right here. Now let's adjust the timing of this animation. So as it splits, it kind of is moving in slow motion. So to do that, I'm going to bring this composition into another comp. So I'll find this comp in the project panel by right clicking and doing reveal composition in project. And then I'll take this layer and drag it into a new composition. And I'll just rename this slow motion. So from here, I'm going to select this composition that's nested inside of my new composition and then right click on it, go to time and then enable time remapping. So I want the first part to be in normal speed. So that's about until 20 frames. So I'll set a time remap keyframe here and then I want it to be slower as it splits. And then as it comes back, that'll all be slow. So I'll set another time remap keyframe when that animation ends at two seconds. So right now I just have keyframes that aren't affecting the time because they're set for the time where they are actually at. So you can see that this one is set for 20 frames and it's at 20 frames. So that doesn't do anything to adjust the time. So what I need to do now is move these keyframes so that they are not at the time that they are, and that will slow down the time between here. So if I just drag these over, let's drag it all the way over to three seconds, and then we can see how this will go in more of slow motion. All right, so that's how I created this 3D split layer effect.